Remember how your heart used to do a flip every time the teacher called your name to answer a question? Or when someone made a meager comment about you and you would immediately overthink it and interpret it as critical? And you'd look in the mirror and hate yourself for who you've become? You cannot hear it. However, it's there each time you speak. You cannot touch it. However, it influences the way you feel. You cannot see it. However, it's there each time you observe yourself in the mirror. What is this important yet mysterious aspect? It's your shallowness. Confidence and self-confidence come from feeling secure in yourself and reminding yourself that you live your life for you. You owe nothing to anyone for being you. Your own experiences have shaped you, not theirs. Let me narrate a series of my conversations with my friend Max. I tell Max that I cannot ride a bike. And he says, come on, Ananya, now really? I thought you'd be better at this. I tell Max that I got a B on my test. And he says, are you dumb, Ananya? I could have gotten a better grade on this test without even studying. I tell Max that I missed a shot. And he says, is this your first time or something? You are so bad at this. People like Max lower your self-esteem. They often make snap judgments without knowing the full story. They can criticize but refuse to know the details. If I pay close attention, I will realize that it's not an issue with me supposedly not being good at anything. It's because of my own corrupted belief that I will never succeed. I've come to realize that you suffer more in your mind than you do in real life. Negative thoughts are like a black hole. You don't need an enemy from the outside. Your thoughts are enough to drag you down to hell. So, when someone makes a remark about you, your entire self-esteem is shattered because you're holding your remote in someone else's hand. So, how do I deal with this? Here are two scenarios. I wake up early in the morning. I meditate and go for a run. I come back and study productively. I spend quality time with my friends and family. I feel hopeful and confident that tomorrow will be an even better and more productive day. Or I wake up late in the morning. I feel tired and sleep again. I wake up again and go through my phone. I get bored and watch a movie. I get frustrated with myself and think of all the ways in which I am not enough. I feel bad about myself. You stop respecting yourself when you repeatedly break promises that you make with yourself, such as you say, I will exercise daily. But when the time comes, you do not do it. Would you trust a person that breaks that promise 1,000 times? Everyone has some goals in life. If you are not acting in a way in order to achieve your targets, your self-esteem is bound to be hurt. My life has improved by such a wide margin ever since I started setting up a routine for myself. I always considered journals and plan books to be quite condescending, but they turned out to play a surprisingly good part in my life. I no longer waste my time stressing out and panicking and fretting about what I should be doing instead. Following a set of realistic goals daily is remarkably soothing and results in a fruitful day and much time saving. Secondly, surround yourself with the right kind of people who inspire and motivate you despite your weaknesses. Let me narrate a series of my conversations with my other friend, John. I tell John that I cannot ride a bike and he says, that's okay. You just need practice, and you can always try again. I tell John that I got to be on my test, and he says, let's show you the correct way to do it so that you know better for next time. I tell John that I missed a shot, and he says, that was close. Next time, follow through on your shot, and I think you'll have it. 
People like John help you improve yourself. Surround yourself with people like him. Low self-esteem is unyielding because it seems to be something that you can never seem to get rid of. Something that stays with you no matter what you do. But we need to accept that gaining self-esteem is a slow, gradual, and probably a lifelong process. Never be unrealistic in setting up targets for yourself. And every time you look in the mirror, remind yourself that you are looking at that one person that will change your life. Choosing to create a healthy self-esteem is one of the greatest journeys you can take in this lifetime. It will not be easy, but it will most certainly be worth it. Thank you.